So Kirby is a very popular franchise by Nintendo. But no one ever says Nintendo Kirby is one of Nintendo's biggest franchises. Franchises such as Mario, Zelda, Pokemon, Splatoon, Smash Bros, and Animal Crossing. The best selling Kirby game was all the way back in 1992 in Kirby's G-Man. So we talk about the sales history of Kirby and why Kirby is cursed with two with one to three million copies sold. Yes, any game would want one or three million copies sold than being a being a major failure. Yeah. But for a franchise as big as, as Kirby, as a character as recognizable as Kirby, you would think that Kirby games would sell more. But they don't. So the first game released is Kirby's Dream Land, which sold 5 million copies. This game released on the Game Boy, and it was, and again, the reason this game sold so well is because of how simple it was. Kirby's Dream Land was a very simple game. Kirby's Adventure came out a year later, and sold 1.75 million copies. Again, this was released at the very late end era of the NES. Kirby's Pinball landed pretty okay, selling 2 million copies. Dream Course was the next game, with again, only sold 0 0.59 million copies. Kirby's Avalanche has no sales. Kirby's Dream Land 2, which is the sequel to Kirby's Dream Land, sold half the original Kirby's Dream Land sales. With again, with many big Nintendo franchises, the, sales, the best seller of the first game in the series typically is one of the best selling. Pokemon, Mario, all have this trend. With the very few exception of the Switch, Basically, strictly, the first game in the series, such as Mario, Super Mario Bros. is one of the best-selling Mario games still, and Pokemon Red and Blue and Green are still the best-selling Mario Pokemon games of all time. Kirby's Block Ball, that's only Japan sales. Kirby's Super Style, though, only sold 1.44 million copies, released on the Super Nintendo. It will really receive a remake on the free DS, and we'll see how that one failed. Kirby Star Saga and Kirby Dream Land 3, again, there's only Japanese sales available for these games. So I agree, this game didn't sell, um, these games probably didn't sell a million copies. Same for Kirby Block Ball. Kirby 64 and the Crystal Stars sold even worse, is sold even worse than Dream Land 2, with only 1.37 million copies. Again, the game released at the very end of the N64's lifespan. Next is Kirby's Tilt and Tumble, which released on the Game Boy Color in 2000. Next is Kirby Elride and Kirby and the I mean, obviously not including remakes in this one in this list. So Kirby Elride sold 1.634 million copies. It did put and then Kirby the Amazing Year sold 1.47 million copies. Kirby wasn't really exactly the best selling Nintendo series. They a, a single game in the series couldn't even reach a million two million copies. Squeeze Squad sold 2.27 million copies, Epic Gone sold 1.85 million copies, Mass Attacks and Dream Return to Dream Match sold 1.79 million copies and 1.22 million copies. And the way it's entering the series is Kirby's Style Allies. Allies which sold 1.45 million copies, 3.15 million copies, which actually broke to 1.2 mil to 2 million sales of the Kirby series. And the only other game in the series was Kirby Triple Deluxe to beat that as well, 2.61 million. And of course, we have all the remakes as well, such as Nightmare and Dream Master on 2.10 million copies, Super Style Ultra on 2.99 million, and of course, Kirby's Dream Collection was sold 0.42 million copies. Bees. And, oh, uh, and yeah, Little Forgotten Land really shaped up the Kirby series, series, and can it beat the original Kirby's Dream Land? Which, yes, Kirby Style Eyes is the second best selling game in the series, but it still didn't beat Kirby Stream Man on the Game Boy, but it still makes it the best selling Kirby game of all time. Time. And it was the first game to be Super Style Ultra, which sold 3 million copies basically. Basically, on the DS. So, will Kirby and the Forgotten Rant break the Kirby mold? Or will it be destined to sell only 1 to 3 million copies? So that's it about Kirby series history. And a lot of these series only include Japan sales. So games like Kirby Canvas Curse only include as like only like VZ Tart sales. But again, VZ Tart isn't too accurate when it comes to sales. 
sales. Sales. So what do you think is the future of the Kirby franchise after Forgotten Land? If Forgotten Land sells well, will we be seeing more open world games in the Kirby series? Or will it just go back to 2D games? Strictly 2D games like we have been gaining for the longest of times. So, that's basically it for this video. Goodbye.